Hey everyone, Ken here from Northern Viking Everyday. Today we're going to be showing you how to scan documents to PDF for free in Google Drive. It's really quite simple to do, whether you have a multi-page document that you need into PDF or a receipt, you'll convert it to PDF and in Google Drive you can share it with your friends or colleagues. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. So let's go ahead and open up Google Drive here on our phone. It is free if you don't have it from your app store. And once you've got it loaded up, it's going to look something like this. And you should see a little camera here in the corner. You could go ahead and click on that. If you're not seeing that, there is a new option here. So we're going to go ahead and click on new. This is going to give you a whole bunch of different options. And the one we're looking for is the scan option right there. So we'll go ahead and tap on scan. Now, once I've done that, you can see there's two modes. There's manual mode, which would allow you to manually tap the photo button to take it, or there's auto capture. I'm going to be using auto capture today. And once we do that, it's gonna start looking for our document. You can see right there that it's searching for our document. There we go, it scanned it for us just like that. And that was automatic. Let's try that again, maybe you don't like it. You can hit retake here. And it says hold steady. There we go, it's got it scanned for us. Now, if you go here to crop and rotate, it'll do the automatic crop, which we just did. You can have no crop where it would actually do the whole photo. I'm gonna go back to automatic crop. You can also rotate the document in here. So if you need it sideways, you can easily do that and just hit apply when it's in the correct direction. I'll just go ahead and hit apply there. There's plenty of different options here. You can adjust filters as well. So if you want it, it to be grayscale, if it's a color, document, you could do that. Or if it's color, you could leave it on color. These are grayscale documents. Um, I'm just gonna leave it on none and hit apply. You can retake it there again, or you can delete it if you don't like it. Now, once you've got the document in there, we can go ahead and hit done. And it's gonna auto create a name. You could change it to whatever you like here. Maybe I'll just call it receipt. And then you can see it has the name PDF after that. So that's gonna be a PDF document. You can choose your location if you have multiple folders in your drive. I'm just gonna leave mine as my drive. You can even select the account there. Once we've got that done, we'll go ahead and hit save and it's gonna save that to our drive. Now, if you do wanna scan a multi-page document, that's quite simple as well. Let's go ahead and try this out. So we'll get that lined up here. Again, we'll hit new, we'll hit scan and we're gonna hold that up and scan it. It's gonna scan it there for us. Now, one thing I do wanna show you, if you hit crop and rotate and the corners don't line up where you want them, you can actually adjust them out as needed as well to make it perfect. Um, once it's good, hit apply. Now to add multiple pages to this document, again, that's quite simple to do. We can just go ahead and hit the plus sign right here and that will allow us to add more pages to our scan. There we go. And maybe we'll add a third one as well. We'll hit that plus sign. There we go. So we've got our three pages in here. You can preview them. You can delete pages if you need to. Really simple to do. Now let's go ahead and hit done. We can go ahead and change the name if we like. We can change the location and the account. Once we've got that, we'll just hit save and it's gonna upload it to our Google Drive. Now, once you've got them uploaded here, you can preview them. So for example, our receipt, you can look at that or our three page document is all in there. And you can just click on the three dots here on the side and this will allow you to share it with people if you want others to see it. You can manage the access there. You can copy a link. You can make a copy. You can download it to your phone. You can print it or hit remove here to delete it from your account. So there's a lot of different options that you can do with that PDF file, but a great little feature here within Google Drive. And it's really that simple to scan your documents here for free into PDF.